Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video, we're going to get back into The Walking Dead, baby. We are a couple of days away from the premiere of the second half of season four. This video, we're going to preview episode nine, After. Oh, Lord, live inside me, leave me on my way. Oh, Lord, live inside me, leave me on my way, leave me home, leave me home. Okay, guys, welcome back. So this is the episode I've been waiting for. For those of you who've been keeping up with the Walking Dead videos on the channel, I have repeatedly said and repeatedly have spoken about the time I went to Comic-Con and they talked about episode 9 being a big episode for Carl as well as um, being an episode that I still think, not 100% sure, that uh, might be a disappointment for some, some audiences or some, audi some parts of the audience are going to be very pissed. Now, um, here at the website, uh, they've, they've got the uh, little insert of a short description of the episode. So... Uh, episode 9, after, as Rick deals with the old wounds, members of the prison have to come to terms with their new environment and ask themselves if survival alone is enough. So it does look like we're going to get to see a little bit of the other group, but from what I understand, this is going to be a primarily a Carl episode. Now, we've seen plenty of the small clips leading up to episode 9. Uh, they gave us uh, another sneak preview of episode 9 in and of itself, where we've all seen this before, Carl leading the uh, walkers away from the house that they're staying in. And obviously there's another one with Carl opening a door and a, and a walker popping through. And then, of course, him shaking his father, asking him to wake up. You know, so we're going to see Rick. It looks like this is going to happen immediately after what happened at the prison. They're going to pick right up where they left off. So I'm expecting to see somebody put a final nail in Herschel's coffin. I think that's going to be a grimsly reminder of... What we had to deal with in episode eight, um, it's still going to be very hard to watch this without Herschel, man. I gotta say, I, I'm going to miss that dude so much. That that character is so awesome, and obviously we're going to see Rick. I mean, excuse me, Carl basically taking care of his father. I mean, his father right now is in no position to do anything. The governor kicked the ever loving shit out of him. And uh, he, he's got to be taken care of. He's got to be taken care of. So it looks like Carl's going to be the one to keep the walkers at bay, go on supply runs, uh, keep his father you know, healthy. And I think what's going to make this episode interesting is because you know we've seen Carl at the place he's in now in terms of the hat, the gun, uh, being very, very guarded. You know, very, you know the children in this show are a little bit more emotionless than the adults because they haven't had time to develop or grow into adults. They've been shoved almost into adulthood. And we remember in season three, Carl shot down that kid. And now there's some people who felt that he did the right move and some people thought he did the wrong move. I don't believe either or. I don't believe in that kind of situation. You can call that right or wrong. But I think we're going to see more of that Carl now. Um, I think we're gonna see him just at this point. It's that's it. There's no there's no uh, farming and all of this shit. I'm gonna he's gonna he's probably gonna say to himself, I'm gonna be the Carl that I was before we all got too comfortable. And that means if anybody even looks at me the wrong way, I'm gonna blast them. And you know what? That's how Shane was. And let's face it, Shane was very similar. I mean, Carl. Uh, is is to me is like a mini Shane and and you know what a lot of people you know I I wasn't my channel wasn't around during those seasons so I never really got to express to people how much I really do like Shane Shane's my favorite character Shane has always been and has and will always be my favorite character because even though he was a little uh, and and he was kind of hung up on Laurie Shane's thought process wasn't necessarily wrong um, you don't have to agree with it but in the circumstances. If they, if the group even 20% went in Shane's direction over Rick, they probably wouldn't have been in a lot of the predicaments they were at at that time. So, um, so I thought Shane was a great character, was a very good conflicting character for Rick at the time. So I, I think we're going to see a lot of Shane and Carl. I, I think so. I think we have already. Um, a lot of times he didn't agree with his father uh, for the decisions he made, and Shane was the same way. Um, so I think, you know... Uh, 
maybe a lot of people don't see that anymore because Shane's been gone for so long, but I have never stopped seeing that. I have always seen some of Shane and Carl, and it makes perfect sense because he spent a good amount of time with him before his father came back. And even when his father was back, since Rick was always out trying to save the world, Carl was still spending time with Shane. So, you know, it's I'm very interested to see if we're going to see a Carl that's going to be more like Shane and develop into someone more like Shane over time. Uh, you know, I think it's very possible. And and if you start to see that, don't be surprised because it, it would make perfect sense to me. Now, in terms of the other group, I don't know how much of them we're going to see this episode. Uh, we'll probably see enough of them to, to, to kind of just get uh, reacquainted with the group and, and what kind of situation they're in. But I think Carl is, uh, obviously Carl is the focus of this episode. I'm definitely interested in seeing as to whether or not we're going to see something that really is going to disappoint us. My, I'm thinking what's really going to disappoint us is seeing uh, maybe Michonne have to put her samurai sword through Herschel's head. I think that's the scene that's going to peeve a lot of people off because it's going to remind you that he of how he died. You know, and it's going to remind it, it would piss me off to see it, and I think we're going to see that. So, but you know, we're only a couple of days away. Today's Wednesday, so uh, Sunday night, obviously, you can expect my review. And um, for those of you Walking Dead fans on the channel, if you're interested, I will be hosting a podcast for The Walking Dead once a week. Uh, I think we're going to do that on Thursday nights. So Sunday night, you can expect a review. Tuesday or Wednesday, you can expect my weekly preview of the following episode. And then Thursday night will be a one-hour podcast on the radio podcast station where we can all discuss The Walking Dead. You guys can call in, ask questions, and uh, go from there. So I hope to see a lot of Walking Dead fans out there uh, that are on the channel to come and participate. And uh, should be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys next video, and I'll see you for The Walking Dead review on Sunday. Take it easy.